Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in if you're watching later on YouTube as well, so... Ah, uh, sorry. I just had to go quickly take out the trash, because they did it just as I started streaming. I thought they were going to forget. Uh, yeah, I haven't started working towards the frog armor confirming, not yet. So. Oh, look, a blood moon. Yes. I'm gonna have a look at the map. I was about to press X <laughs> to see where I've been and haven't been. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like I should go to Kakariko Village and come back here. Hey, Clash as well. Hello. Okay, so... I'd want to clear a bit more of the Rita area before moving on. So there's a shrine over there, so I'm going to that one first. How many hours have I played? Ugh, like... I'm trying to quantify it. Maybe 14? 14, 15 hours? Something like that. Not as much as you would think, because I'm not playing this during the day, because, you know... I'm streaming it, so play playtime is only at night. I don't sit there and play it. If I wasn't streaming it, I probably would be playing more of it. Oh, we must rebuild the bridge, yes. Now that the blizzard has passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so that supplies can arrive in the village. Sadly, we are not equipped for a major rebuilding project. But I've heard there are Hylians who are skilled in construction. Say, you're a Hylian. Do you know anyone who can help? Mm. Hmm, sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know. What about that guy at Lookout Landing? If he could build an incredible structure like that, I bet he'd have no problem fixing up your bridge. Um, his name was... Oh, shit. I don't remember, but it ended in Sun. Ah. Fantastic, yes. He sounds up to the task. However... I can't leave the village right now with what my defense duties. We'll have to dispatch an emissary to look out landing in my place. But who is Sand? Everyone's so busy. Okay. Uh, let's just go there. This one. Okay, you how the game's been faring so far compared to Breath of the Wild. It's a more fleshed out Breath of the Wild. That's the simplest way to put it. Breath of the Wild has a large world that was not really realized to its potential. This is that world realized to its potential. That's all I'm going to say on it. Hey, Gami. What's up? Still going with the blood moon here. Okay, we're looking for someone with the name Sun. Wait, what is this? This is different. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. It's gonna take a while to get used to this cutscene. Once again. Okay. Yeah. I think you've come in time. Have a look at this. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. 
If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated so far. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. Okay. Etched in ancient text, you cannot read it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the game, the game is fine. I like it. I don't want to give, like, such a... I don't know what's the word, but non-excited response, but... You get asked this question so often. <laughs> if I wasn't enjoying it, I would have put it down a long time ago and wouldn't be binging it like I am. Oh, hey, it's you again. So, you know, I've taken my time to say all my goodbyes. The thing is, it's always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. I was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out part of this wall. Ever since, I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole that made it. It almost sounds like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. At this point, I'm pretty sure I unsettled that demon when I busted up that wall, so it stands to reason that if it wants revenge, I'll be the one who's targeted. Robbie, Grante, for goodbye forever. Hmm. This is enough to get through it. Ah, oh, okay, it's you. Wondering when this would char. It's the same story as last time. Banished from the mainstream, the Oscars town neglected, yep. <sighs> oh, man. Are we good? It's the same thing as last time. Give it back. Did you think I deceived you? Paris the thought, profitable relationship. It's the exact I think it's the exact same test as the first game. And this is if I want to set up the three heart thing, which I'm not gonna. Oh man, let's had to sneeze a bit there. 
I vacuumed earlier, and every time I vacuum, this happens. It just kicks up the dust. I'll be alright. It'll calm down. But there wasn't a whole lot to read there anyway. It's just, it's just I think it was almost identical to the text from uh, Breath of the Wild. I mean, initially, it, it shared similarities, like it seemed like the game was, uh, I mean, it was a better version of Breath of the Wild, but the differences weren't as profound at the start, like the opening sequence, aside from being more narrative driven, but then the Rita area, man, yeah, that, that changed my mind. I broke the wall and angered the demon. Now I'll be paying for it with my life. <laughs> you what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? <laughs> a dealer in life and power touched by the wrath of the god has fallen to ruin. Then that must mean the horn statue is an entity who deals in life and power. Which would make the... What? The die? Okay. Well. Yeah. Look, let's just skip it. It's fine. Oh, it gives me a free good sword. There's still more I want to break here, but I don't have a hammer right now. I suppose I could use this. Yeah, right, you're with me now. I think I need to go set up uh, more weapon slots. I think a trip to, uh, to see where Hestu's at. He's probably in the forest. Okay, so there's ore. Okay, hold on. I'll temporarily drop this. It still keeps going. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have hammers or bombs to entertain this, so... I'll explore it later. Looks like there's more going on here. Sorry, Toro. I'm sorry, Toro. You're just not the right one for the job. 
Come on, don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line into the depths too. I'm capable of deciphering some Zone I script. Who else can tackle that stuff? I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zone I survey team, after all. But aren't you heading up the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko Village anyway, Toro? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting. Big enough to see from Lookout Landing. So please, finish your work there before asking to join in new research. Oh. But... But to read first-hand Zonai history, that bait's too juicy to pass up. Oh. Ah, swordsman. Uh, someone else is here for the job already? Uh, I guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakariko Village and just stare up at those ruins. Chulin's clone keeps scaring the fuck out of you. Yeah, because you're not used to it. I know, it's done that a couple times now. Toro is an amazing person and he's a first-rate archaeologist as well. But he loves Zonai research so much that he'll bolt from a project to chase any new discoveries. I've been looking for someone to help invest with my investigation of the depths. I mean, you'd be the best for the job. I'll help. Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain the details to you. Come with me. Okay, hold on. I am here! Swordsman this way, just how about you? Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had, the one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Oh, hey. Ta-da, just look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's gotta be the one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. So to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the statues down there, you'll reach the structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, this is all still part of my speculation. So <laughs> that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in this mural. Initially, I figured I could go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Uh -huh. You can have these too. Yeah. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help. With the swordsman. Okay, well, we'll do that later. Where are the carpenters? They don't have names, I don't talk to them, because they're not going to say anything that high value. Oh, Hestus here. No, okay, cool. We don't have to go any further. Awesome. Shalaka! You can see me, can't you? The name's Hestu. Yes, we've met before. From Korok Forest up north, I'm a musician, and my happiest place is playing maracas and dancing. 
I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. That's why I'm stopping at a safe place with lots of people around. But I'm just getting bored standing here. Do you want to see my dance before you go? Hang on. Something's wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now? I had 900 of them. The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and make your inventory bigger. You know what's funny is like, I think the children of the forest keep taking his Korok seeds from his maracas because they just hate the sound of the maracas. They went to the effort of disposing of them and spreading them across the land. Link gets them back and then they have a meeting and they're like, oh no, Hestu's got his maracas back. So then, you know, they, they, they distract Hestu and steal them again. I think that's the official lore of this is they don't like Hestu's music at all. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. But the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. Oh. <laughs> and I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was in a panic. Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? You do? You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children? If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Yep. Okay. Weapon first. Oh, it's different. <laughs> I love it. Expand the ban ban weapon stash. So, so, are you happy with it? If you bring me more, I'll expand the inventory again. Weapon stash again. <laughs> I like this dance better. <laughs> do do the budget once first. That's it for that, for now. <laughs> so good. Okay, now the burst sash. I'm doing all the budget ones first. Wait, didn't they didn't change color this time? Hang on. Oh no, they did. I just didn't notice. Getting tired of this.
this will resolve pretty much all the problems. Having just enough to get up to five. don't have enough to make anything bigger now, so that'll do. Oh, here we go. Carson, when do you think the stable will be ready? It'll still be a while yet. I just need to get the last of the root planks fit fitted correctly. There's only one spot to finish. Well, until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. Wow. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it. With the rift done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking. Sun and done. Uh -huh. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. <laughs> they kept that in. That's good. How's that? Well, well. This is a fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering you're a Hudson's construction number one. Hmm. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. Hang on. Ah. Pretty stellar craftsmanship, am I right? Gotta say I've outdone myself this time. If you end up boarding your horses here, they'll have a luxurious time. Alright, work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up, which also means I'm out of work. You wouldn't happen to know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? Doritos Bridge. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. I heard it all fell apart when that blizzard struck Rito Village. But if they're looking to have it fixed, that strange weather must have died down, huh? Ah. Well then, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. Sun and done. Okay. Hey. We wouldn't have been able to build such a handsome mini stable without you and Carson. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'll work hard to make sure it was worth the wait. Now let's get on to business. Uh-oh. It seems that you're not yet a stable member, but don't worry, I can get you registered with the Stable Association now. If you'd like. Your name, please. Ah. Link, is it? Ah, let me make a note of that. And done. Your registration's complete. Let me start over. Welcome to our mini stable. We're here for your horse, as a matter of course. Mini stable. Stables are fully starved and offer a slate of amenities, from comprehensive horse care to lodging for travelers. 
Mini stables like this one tend to be a little simpler since they're usually run by a single manager. We only register board and bring out horses here. Anything else you need? Okay. Take horse. Oh! That's funny as. This is, but this is data from my non-master mode file. Thank you for waiting. This little one sure looks happy to go for a ride with you. Okay. Oh, anyway. Ah, uh, my apologies. I still have to give you your pony points card. Pony points card? When a member uses a service at a stable of any size, they earn points. Well then, as a reward for using the mini stable for the first time, I'm going to add one point to your pony points card. Okay. You'll earn points for using a stable for the first time, registering a horse, lodging stables, and more. You can earn wonderful rewards based on how many points you've saved, too. I'd love to tell you all about them, but, well, many stables don't have rewards to offer. So be sure to collect what you've earned at a proper stable. From here, I'd say New Serene Stable to the west of Lookout Landing's probably the closest. Please take care now. Hello, opponent. But, the problem is, like, I'm gonna be fast traveling anyway, so... So, it does carry over data, that's interesting. Alright, let's travel here. I'm just glad I have more weapon slots now. I wonder if this uh, bridge is like ready to go. I still think it's a weird decision to not let you use the, uh, the clone abilities in a town, that just seems strange. Dragonflies. I hate. Ooh. That's surprising. Usually they're moving around the place, so that's kind of nice. I've never seen one sitting like that. I'm sorry, Carson. I wish we had more building supplies for you to use. Now, like I saying, this is my fault, not yours. I was too rosy with my estimates. What happened? Ah, ah Link, it's about the bridge job. We've hit a bit of a snag. See, the thing's in worse shape than I accounted for. Whoa. Carson here estimates that we're short 20 pieces of wood. Is that right? Uh, yep, we may be able to get what we need by chopping down trees, but that'll be a whole project in itself. Now I have to chop it down. I already have 18. It's not too bad. Uh, 
19, 20. 21, done. But I will... grab it okay because it's time to collect some wood no kindling shortcuts my highly and mishap taught me that hmm got to do the work and chop down the trees huh uh, oh, welcome this is the Rito uh, stable no it's not it's the lucky clover gazette i'm sorry old habits die hard harder than stables do clearly ahem i just do odd jobs if you have some business with the lucky clover gazette please ask someone else highly and pine cones oh. We're through the worst of that terrible weather now, but it brought something interesting with it. An explosive increase in Hylian pine cones. Those pine cones are very oily on the inside and burn something fierce. I learned that the hard way by tossing one into a fire. It burst into flame so furiously that it whipped up a whirlwind. Which ended up taking up all that freshly printed newspapers with it. Okay. Interesting. I had no idea this job would be so big that it needed 20 pieces of wood. In retrospect, this is a bridge we're talking about, so I guess it makes sense. Here you go. Hmm. 20 pieces of it? Wood? Must have been a real pain in the neck collecting that on your own. You sure I can have it? Oh. Aces. Thanks much. Alright, that's all the materials. Ah. Come on, Gassain. Time to fix this busted bridge of yours. Son and done. Gassain, let's plonk down this little farther to the left. Not that far. It's falling down the cliff, Timber! Ah, good catch. Those wings sure come in handy. Eh, or wingy. Hey, don't set your tail down there. It's a support beam, not a perch. And now for the finishing touch. Here goes. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okay, Dokes, feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. Son and done. Huh? The bridge, it's finished. Uh -huh. Amazing, fantastic. Now we can carry supplies across. Oh. Gotta say, I was a little worried about how it turned out, but what a beaut. You could hit this bridge with ten blizzards at once and it wouldn't break so much. It wouldn't so much as creak. Oh. With that done, life in Ruto Village should return to something like normal. I will take responsibility for guarding the bridge. Please accept this gift. Oh, that was, yes, I definitely needed that. I had money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you'll get some use out of it. Ah. And with that, I'm off to Lookout Landing. Gusain, if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running. No problem's too small. Ah. Thank you. That's very reassuring. And the same goes for you. You have an open invitation to call upon our help. A bridge connecting Hylians and the Rito, literally and otherwise. This is going to make a great article. Uh -huh. Hey, you fixed the bridge. You know what that means. Tracy's always got lots of tasks for me. So I'd better finish quickly with the supplies and get back to work. I don't even want to think about all the documents I'll have to organize when I return to the library. Okay. I mean, let's see if maybe with Tracy we've progressed. Ah, ah like, nice to see you hard at work. Ah. Now that the blizzard has finally stopped, my sister and I can get back to work. Duma headed off to Goron City, I think. She's looking into a rumor about some kind of underground city there. She's a little too quick to trust people, in my opinion. I hope she's not caught chasing a lead that goes nowhere. By the way, how are you Pen and Pen doing? Everything okay? 
Did you lose track of your partner? Let's see. Right around now, you should be canvassing Woodland Stable. Oh. That's a stable in the Elden region, off to the northeast. It's a good stop if you're on your way to Goron City. When the Great Fairy showed up there, that was all anyone talked about. At least for a while. There hasn't been any news lately. So, of course, Pen was headed that way. Stated could smell a scoop from there. Yeah. Readers all over Hyrule have their eyes and ears peeled for any information about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. The Lucky Clover Gazette is equally eager and is happy to help however it can. Not yet, but soon I will get that armor. Following this one back up. I have to start doing these. I think I did this quick enough. Well. I'll just land here, it's fine. I'll do this and then when I leave this one, it should be okay, hopefully. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't even notice that was there. Okay. A launching device. I suppose I'll attach it to. <laughs> Guess nothing.
<laughs> I mean, it's all well and good. But I don't have any more rockets. I oh, know, okay, there's some here. See, I can just make it across now. Alright, that worked. And then hopefully when I leave, it'll uh, show the thing that's dropping. Fallen. I'm going to the spot where it falls. Yeah, here it comes. Move this time. Oh my god, fucking Octorox. Dude! Is this going to make it all the way up? It didn't? What I get the feeling I need a combination of the Zora outfit and this. But I mean, if I can climb waterfalls, that would be the solution. Yeah, okay. I can't do this yet.
Ha ha. I'll aim to get just the shrines in this general area. Kind of get it. It's just, hmm. So I just have to make it really heavy. These little shells make it easier to traverse stuff. It's this big win. What the fuck? Oh no, nice, nice camera. I think I need to get closer. the fish.
Dude, can you just climb like a normal, normal character, please? Why, why is that so slippery? And yet this is like on a steeper angle and it's fine. Game can be so frustrating with the climbing. This is interesting, though. The fact that you get some stamina back. That is strange. You can kind of keep repeating this until you get to safety. So maybe a problem being up here. I don't know if this is going to get me across the line. Okay, good. Still weird. But I mean, I guess each of them are going to do something meaningful. It won't be a case where you have all of them up at once. See where else? No, right. <laughs> Not now. Just let me get to the top. Ugh. I gotta remember now that this is important. Okay, well, I know what that is. I can't rise to climb that one yet.
Don't see me. You don't see me. I figured there'd be one on top of here. Uh, where is this going? Oh. Okay. I mean, I am trying to find as many as I can. What? You didn't die? Okay, an axe to the back apparently wasn't enough. Whoa, hang on, there's a cherry tree over there, that wasn't there. So, I mean, in Breath of the Wild, at this point, someone would have already found all the Koroks. I wonder if someone's done the same. Oh, you're quite the handsome Ver, aren't you? To meet in such a romantic place. Could you be the Ver I was destined to fall in love with? No. No. I can tell just from the look on your face. You did not come here in search of the one true love. That's too bad. The snow isn't as bad here as it's been lately, but... Ver, I'm still so cold. In a place as magical as this, I really do believe I will finally meet the handsome, handsome Vo of my dreams. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently there is a strange creature called a Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've never seen it myself, but I really want to. I also heard Satori like fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? Oh shit. What is this? New mountain eye. It's like a new event, though. Would be cool if I was a new mount. I guess follow the spots. But first... Ha <laughs> What is a hot air balloon? 
What is that doing here? Weird. Ah, I'll keep going. Sapphire sword. Okay. So we got a cold sword. We <laughs> just don't learn. Yeah, I should be taking photos. Hold on. Damn it. Oh, did I get it? Got it. Wrong. They kind of, uh, yeah, destroyed themselves a little bit. This is the spot it's pointing to, right? Wait a minute. Is this telling me where all the Koroks are? I think this is telling me where the Koroks are. Unless I'm mistaken. Maybe not all of them, but... Okay, let's see how this plays out. Places of interest, maybe? We'll see. Well, it's... a good thing, because it's kind of annoying to find the Koroks. I was using the mask earlier, and, I mean... It was... I should say earlier, Breath of the Wild. But even still, that had a lot of guesswork involved. 
So if I'm taking out that guesswork. Okay, no. No, no, no. So, okay, that's disproven it. Because this is a Korok. And it's not highlighted. But maybe it just reveals some of them. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely curious as to what this does. It's already full. I like this photo. That photo's cool. This is already gone. Yeah, I'm curious to find out what this actually is. There's a couple of spots here. All right. So this is pointing to... Down here. It's pointing to secrets, so I guess it's, it's fine.
<laughs> oh, that noise is great. Wait, how do I get this out? Weird, the prompt didn't come up before. That looks like you're climbing into a butt. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what was the inventory man? Uh, at the landing. Just in town. His new dance is fantastic. I love his new dance. to the spoiler free hall. <laughs> Fair enough. So much easier than just trying to push a rock out of the way. Whoa. in the Mushroom Kingdom. This is a neat little room. This might be the cave that person at the retail village was talking about. Because they said something was going to have a lot of mushrooms. I got, I got two of them. No, I got three of them. Nice. I'm probably gonna make an elixir with this. Or, not gonna lie, like, find the dragon and make a half hour elixir with this stuff.
Okay, I think we're out of here. Ah, oh, got it. Nice. Oh, it's a hot spring. Yeah, okay, so this definitely was a spot that the Rito was talking about. <laughs> it's the sign, dude. What is this? What is this abomination of a construction you have here? work you know what chillin is going to be great for just defending me against those wolves good lord Get him, chill it. Nice. going to be hilarious if it falls forward. It's probably going to fall forward. Ah! Try letting go. Oh. Falls forward to the side. I may have over-engineered this. is an abomination. Okay, but it, it works, I think. Oh, come on. It, it held up in the end. It just You just needed to give it some time. <laughs> 
try now. I can't talk to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, that this is great. Oh shit. Quick talk, it's moving! How's the president standing? That was brilliant, I never would have thought of that. Alright, let's get him secured while he's still standing. That was dumb. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Texas is my thanks. Sign guy will never get all great character. Yeah. It's a good quest. This is... These new quests are great. I like them. That was this monstrosity. This monstrosity of a structure just worked. I don't know how that worked. Wait, it's still pointing to here. What is it pointing to then? We look. Is this still pointing this out? I can't tell. Yeah, it is. You can see it. It's still pointing to here. Why? Gotta be a reason it's still pointing to here. Entirely sure what it's pointing to. I feel like I've gotten everything in this cave, and yeah, it still lights it up.
I don't get it. Not sure why it's highlighting this still. I have no idea why it's still pointing this cave out. I feel like I got everything in that. I'm just gonna move on. I have no idea why it's still saying there's something here. Alright, oh, this isn't being marked anymore. None, nothing's being marked anymore. Strange. Hang on. Where was the tree? Go back here. Wait, what is this? That doesn't matter. Uh... What is this? Hello, hello. Always nice to meet a fellow wanderer out there. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a painter. I travel from place to place looking the scenery to inspire me. Lately, I'm especially taken with the floating islands that have just appeared in the sky. I painted a lot of landscapes in my time, but none pique my curiosity like that small island up there. If you put that strange little island up there, it's too fascinating a shape. Easy to paint too. You should go there for yourself once the weather clears up a little. I don't think he's talking about that one. Okay, this is something new.
Okay, hang on. I want all of them. <laughs> Wait, is that it for this little cave? No, hang on, there's notes here. This bitter cold is making my eyes glaze over. I fear my time is almost up. Faced with some frigid onslaught, I wolfed down some sautéed peppers to ward off the cold and down them with a drink. But suddenly a chill came over me. Strange, I thought. I'm certain sautéed peppers are cold resistant. Then I looked at the bottle I held in my hand, a cooking elixir. I had just taken a swig of heat-resistant beverage. It seems that if you eat a second dish while the effects of the first dish are active, the original effect is lost. Failure is the amuse-bouche of learning, and I, Chef Ori Tamu, have eaten my share. My journey to the culinary mastery continues. Fearless of failure. Is that really how they're going to explain that interaction? In a random journal in a hole? Like, they're going to- they're going to explain that intricacy. That I'm sure many people fall victim to that. They explain that in a random hole in the snow. There's nothing else here, right? But see, this is the only annoying thing about these wells is... You have to fast travel out of them. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like about them. That's such a minor complaint. Unless there's some way to get out easily. As aside from using a rocket, which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to use a rocket just to get out of that. It's just a waste. Alright, I'm gonna go see if that was the place the Rito was claiming. I just want to make sure all the quests are covered here. Ah. Hey there, I still haven't figured out where I saw that cave the other day. Mm. Mushrooms in it and a pond of fish. Okay, so that wasn't the cave that I was just in. Ah. Mm. It's just, it had what she was describing in there, which was like a fancy mushroom cave. Alright, I'm gonna mark this. Because this was important. Hold on, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> While I'm that. Let's see what this is all about. Wait, there's another one down there. Huh. 
Right, 3D spaces. I was never good at stuff in 3D spaces. Hang on. Uh, um, okay. In. I wonder if all this thing is doing is pointing out caves. Again. Well, it worked. There's seven, sp eight spots of interest, I can see. But I guess I want to know if I can mark them off as objectives being done or if it's just, it's going to be the same every time. This one, I thought I was pointing at a Korok, but it might be more than that. See, I feel like that wasn't what it was pointing out, then. We may have a look around this. Because the other one pointed out a cave, and I find it weird that this one would be pointing out a Korok and nothing else.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything else here. Oh no. Yeah, it's a cave. So this is pointing out caves. I need. I think she wanted five or something like that. I'm gonna have to follow all these. This was the White Bird's Guidance one, all right. I can see it. This is facing it. Lever power. What on earth? What is this? Why is there a ladder here? Weird. Kinda get it. I feel like I, I should have just made it one, but let's just see. Bombs away. Gonna work? I guess we'll see.
<laughs> what? What happened there? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even see where it went. I call bullshit. What happened? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be more careful this time. Move. Okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna do the old elevator trick, I think. Okay. The... It doesn't reach. Wow, it doesn't reach. Why? The fuck is this? Okay. No, 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 no. Get back. I feel like I'm overcomplicating this. Oh, wait, can you stick this to the ground? for a while. Okay, release. Rewind. 
Why is this being a dick? Okay, stop. Okay, that's in place. Now... This is not gonna work, is it? I'm gonna have a few more guys. There is a way I can solve this and just get it. Well, not solve it, but just leave here if I really wanted to. This is kind of bothering me. Okay. It just doesn't go far enough. Unless... No, see, I'm, I think I'm making a mistake. I think it's correct. I think it's just... I need to not put it on the edge and kind of... Wait, whenever you talk to people about the depths, your guy goes, Binder done that. Yeah, because you just spent, what, four or five hours in there right away. That'll do that. Okay, so it's, it's like that. Look, there we go. I don't like how this attaches, but sure. Ugh, this is going to this is going to be really precise. The problem is it's because it's a circle as well. I can't exactly place it without some degree of inaccuracy. <laughs> uh, I really, really can't be bothered with this one. This one just seems annoying. Where are you? Wait, what? I was gonna say. Oh, I'm not allowed to to take out Zonai devices, it's disabled it. I was just gonna use one of these rockets and just, uh, sail to the air and just get out of here, but apparently not allowed. Any kind of cheese strat, it's not allowed. I really have to do this, huh? It's just annoying to aim this. <sighs> but 
the fact that it's a, it's a sphere is the part that bothers me. I mean, maybe this will work. Let's see. More white. Nearly. That one was the closest one yet. Okay. Uh, place it there. I just have to be gentle. The steam makes me feel like I'm playing Portal. <laughs> just because it's all light. It just feels like I'm in the labs. Okay, that was too much. About here. This one is taking longer than I would have liked, but it's okay. What? What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? Did that not hit? What do you- what? Did that not hit? Bullshit. That hit, fuck off. Okay, that one went over. But that- uh, that previous one, I swear it hit. How did that one go higher? I, I didn't want to attach it. Problem is, I just realized I have to hit the target. It can't just be a matter of me getting over there. Fuck. But then if I put it here, what was the point of attaching the long thing on? this. <laughs> no. Side of this. 
almost feel like I'm ready to give up. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot. <laughs> uh oh, I got it. I was trying to eat. Ugh. I think that's the worst part about it, is just the fact that that block is going to hit you. It encourages you to stand there. To get the extra height. Ugh, I have to do this again. I don't know, man. I feel like this one behaves a little too inconsistent. And yeah, there's that. There's that too. Yeah. Why, did, why can't it just be a square? Just a box. Big box, little box. Or at least have like an indent so then the ball can just sit there, I don't know. Tried so many permutations of this. I keep, I keep, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Just a little short. <laughs> that one was a lot short. Ball? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Is that why that ladder's there? Because just this could happen? Why is it behaving so inconsistently? See, so yeah, I move it a little bit. Okay, so that's fine. And 
Um, move it a little bit higher. Okay. It's like somewhere here. Really? Again? But this is what I mean. This was higher than what it was before. And I, I don't mean like the previous shot, but the one before that one. And yet it just... It travelled not as far. The fact that that ladder's there is kind of an admission of, hmm, yeah, the player's gonna get stuck here, we need to have a ladder. I hate this. Like, we're talking about super fine movements here. That one's not good enough. Okay, let me try what I was doing before. I'll add more weight to it. too high. What do you mean? <sighs> I feel like that one should have hit. No, this, this one's a little too precise. Okay, go. How? How did that not count? Okay, somehow that went higher. I don't understand how. Okay. 
I've been doing practically the same thing each time and somehow it got higher. I take it to the very tip. Very tip of it. I can't go any higher and then drop it. This one, not a fan of the shrine. I thought it was just me, but it's not. This is definitely behaving inconsistently. That's moving back. Okay, it's still. I think that's the other worst part about it. It's just the fact that it's a ball. Alright, go. How? How did that stop short? I'm putting it in the same fucking spot each time. And I'm dropping it from the same height. I'm measuring it every time. Look, I'm lining up the square. That's lined up. Bring it to max height. Lining up the square again. The ball's rolling off. But even if it's going sideways, that shouldn't explain why it's going higher or lower. Did the glue just move the ball? I think it did. This is... This is annoying. This isn't a puzzle, this is just stupid. It stopped being a puzzle a long time ago. If I put it in the canister, it just causes even weirder interactions with it. Okay. be the dumbest one yet but I just want to show how inconsistent this is I'm putting this in the original spot where I got the first one I just want to rewind time just to see what happened there, but it doesn't work. Once it falls down the hole. See, this just makes it... It just makes it just as bad. It like ha it has a life of its own. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, don't attach that. Yeah, nice, nice puzzle design, Nintendo. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah, but like, how many times did I place it in that spot? Here. The, it was here. I've, I put it there so many different times. I, from the get-go, I imagined it would be here, and I kept placing it there, and it just never worked. It's not over yet. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't enjoy this one. It was one of those things where the more precise something is, the less uh, fun it becomes. There should have been some lenience with the catapulting there. I don't know how, but... I feel like I put it on that spot so many times, and it just... Sometimes it would go higher, sometimes it would go lower. And each time I was dropping the cube from the maximum height that the hand would allow me to take it up to. I was lining it up as well to make sure there was no difference between each one. But even with the ball, even without the dish, even with or without the dish, every shot just seemed to go differently for some reason. Like the ball was on its own was traveling inconsistently. I don't think it had to do with weight. I think it was just like a physics were too precise thing. Or not precise enough. It was one of those. I don't know. There shouldn't have been that much variance between one shot to the next when I ha was positioning them pretty much identically. The fact that that was that much variance, there was just something going on there. It was either the physics were too precise and the variance was explained. Or maybe it was just really loose physics and it caused the path of the ball to just go weird. <sighs> anyway. That's probably the first one that I'm going to say I, I did not enjoy. All of them so far have been alright. I took so long that the fish are back in this pond. Back to Rito for a sec. I need to turn in that quest.
Uh, it was the person next to the provisions box. Where are they? Right now, we just need to secure as much food as possible. If you can spare three glowing cavefish, I'll give you ten arrows. Wow. Ah, so you're carrying at least three glowing cavefish. Would you like to exchange them for ten arrows? Just to complete the quest, yes. <laughs> Thank you, that really helps. At least ten is promised. Huh? No. Ah. I'm good. I'm gonna go visit this thing again. I'm glad it lets you reuse the apple. You don't have to go get new ones. No, 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 no. Get up. I kind of wish it would not highlight the ones you've been to. This is nice, though. This direction, let it go. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's hiding behind the statues. After this, I'll, I'll go spend some seeds.
you save the game, close the game, change the system date, go back into the game, you can scan amiibos. Yeah, but that's a lot of effort. I think just, I just would load and get the core item I want on off, off it, and then just the things you get from it, which is weapons and uh, just general cooking things. It's not worth going to that effort to do that. At least not for me. I just want it for the cosmetic stuff, that's it. Where are you? Oh wow. Chillin' is, uh, is a good, good companion. <laughs> Thing is, I don't think I can get a lot... Okay, so there's... where is that one? Yeah. I'm gonna get this one beneath me, I think. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Thanks, Jolan. Ugh. I would rather an ice spear than... That seems good. Just like the arrows are not scarce. <laughs> Damn it. I was trying to get the lizard. Consistently low on arrows and breath of the wild. Yeah, it was a common thing. This you have a nice steady supply of arrows, which I guess you kind of have to, if it's encouraging you to uh, use them more.
Oh, this is where I came from. Right, that was it. I feel like there should be more to this. Aha. Aha. Frostbite headdress. Ooh. I can't wear it, but ooh, because it's gonna... Wait, no, I think I can here. Yeah, because my cold resistance high enough, but when I do go a bit higher, I need the cold resist chest piece. What a weird looking headpiece. Okay, now I'm convinced I've got what I got. That was it. But, okay, so here's where I, I miss Cryo. I think I'm gonna have to go... I can't swim here, can I? No, it's fine. I think I'm gonna have to go to the Zora area next, because... <sighs> yeah, I think I need to be able to swim. Oh, that can't be good. <sighs> I think I see a Korok over there too, and another... That's an updraft, so I should be able to ride that. <laughs> it would be nice if I could stand on them. Game, please. I thought this is what you wanted me to do. It might, it might still be, hang on. It might still be. Thank you. Okay, and now... There we go, platform. Are you kidding me? Are you s still doing this? I can kind of see what this is supposed to resemble. It kind of looks like something off the Nadra. Dude. Chulin. I'm a big fan of Chulin now.
Just MVP against harassment. I don't feel like I'm being harassed nearly as often now. So the cave is just above me. It wants me to go to the Elden area next. Which, there probably is a reason it wants me to do that. Why isn't doing it? There's a star or flower shaped island up there. There's a dragon over there. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, I have to note that. Roughly here. Okay. I won't be able to get that now. <laughs> Should have taken a photo of it. a standard one. I need a new hammer! Otherwise, this will still work. That'll work.
I have to stockpile money because I'm going to have to buy armor. Oh, who are you? Oh, I feel wind from somewhere outside. I've been saved. I'm Selmy. Heard of me? I used to shield surf at a, the pro level. Earned myself the nickname the Duchess of Downhill. I'm a teacher these days, showing the next generation how to shred the slopes like an absolute pro. That terrible blizzard stopped, so I took advantage of the weather to go out and create a new course for my students. And then I found this cave, just surfed right into it with, on my shield. Can't blame an old shield surfer for exploring, right? Aww. I went in too far, though, where the cave got all closed off. I couldn't climb back out of the way I climbed back in. Worse yet, I heard rocks falling back up at the entrance. Thought I'd, it'd collapse at some point. I was starting to think I'd be stuck back here forever and no one would even be able to find the cave. I'll live another day, free to surf the slopes under the bright sky. <laughs> I've got nothing to give you now, thanks, but I've got an idea. Whenever you like, stop by the lodge in the northwest of Hebra Peak. We'll talk more then. You can always spot it from the bonfire out front, so watch for it, that if you decide to come find me. Ah. Alright, I'd better head back so my students can stop worrying. Remember, find me at my lodge on the peak. Hold on. Gotcha! I had to be quick. I had to be quick. I got a, I got a photo of it. That was like some Pokemon Snap stuff. I wonder if there'll be a quest for having a photo of that thing this time. So I have a photo of both. I'm hanging on to them. I think that it's pretty safe to say this cave is done. still go to the one that I was. Oh, it's behind me. Okay. I've marked it, though. <laughs> Why? It's not even that steep. Why is it being an asshole? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Link slides a lot more in this one. But then on the flip side, it does have some improvements. It's just... I feel like he slips down more, but then also... It's easier to recover from a slip, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> sure. I got the photo.
I get the feeling this is incorrect. And there's a cave here. Why? Why did that one not get a tick? Why did that one also not get a tick? I mean, I definitely went in the cave. Hmm. See what I mean? Like here, you can kind of recover from these kind of slips easier. But then I'm finding myself slipping on surfaces I wouldn't slip on in Breath of the Wild. Oh, right, that thing's there. Go back. This will buy me time. Until I can actually ride it. What it land? Oh shit! Quick, 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 quick! Going up. Damn it! <laughs> it got to me quicker than I thought it would. Ah. It's guarding it. That's kind of annoying. Right, climbing up this way. Can't tell if it's falling yet.
dude. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna go the long way around. I'm gonna have to wear this. By the looks of it. Gonna be enough. What? Still cold. How? I'm wearing. Oh no, there we go. Okay, it's enough. What is this? Ah, crap. Um. Are taxes included in the sticker price in Australia? Yes, because you're not allowed to have hidden costs. So everything has to be illustrated up front. So it'll say, um, you know, $90 including GST. Like, you have to be representative of what it's going to cost the consumer. Highlighting, what is this highlighting? Interesting. You bought your car and forgot you would have to pay Michigan taxes on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's it's pretty standard everywhere else. It's just America, I think, that doesn't do that. I don't know why. It's, it's a weird thing, but... I think part of the reason is probably just to make things seem cheaper than what they really are. Okay, that piece of wood is just gone. <laughs> but yeah. It's law here that you can't be deceitful when it comes to representation of what it costs a consumer to buy a product. <laughs> did, did this work? You think it's because each tax states differently. Or well, state taxes differently. Yeah, I've heard that's a thing. Here, tax is like a national standard, so... I guess it's easier to track it. Might have to make another one. Once it stops melting. I think I might have to make another one. It seems to have reached its...
There we go. Why did I have to roll the piece of wood? I guess I don't need to do it any further, but it's just in case there's something else on the inside of this. You never know. Alright, that should be enough to finish the job, hopefully. You shook the little container that contained your amiibo cars and your cat came running in thinking he was getting treats. Ah. <laughs> Deception. this okay hold on ah oh shit that's not good okay lucky there's a hot spring down here though What is this? Double kill. They have done caves correctly. You go into a cave and you, you can find something nice. You can also do this, apparently. I did something. There's more. <laughs> I get it. So there's a chance I'm gonna get this wrong. And then it's like, lol, get frozen.
one more, I guess. Ow, damn it. Ugh, stupid ice case. This is probably going to be a shrine. Also may have picked the weird save point. Like right before I did this. drop down here and they can follow me here and die. Slip me back onto it. Okay, hang on. I gotta heal. Was the last one. Do they just keep respawning? Why are there so many? I'm not having any of that.
There we go. That's a lot to go through. Uh, camera, hello? Ah, uh, Meadow Helm. <laughs> this looks so dumb. I mean, cool, because treasure chests have something meaningful behind them this time around. It's not a disappointment every time. What did I get from that chest? I'm wearing it. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Or oh, this thing, I got a chest. Yeah, I read it properly now. I did get this from a chest in game. This thing just now. I hear the sound of the thing that I need to kill. I just don't know where it is. Well, yeah, I mean, I also have the, uh, Fist Deity Boots, which... Oh, there you are. The Fist Deity Boots were also exclusive. Okay, so this one has a tick on it now, too. Yeah, but I, okay. This is the one downside to these is... I think I need to go explore this one again because it didn't get a tick. And neither did this or that. I get the feeling tick means I acquired the treasure that's in there. Alright, so this cave has something else. Yeah, so this cave has something else in it. What else does it have? the answer, isn't it? Yeah, now it has a tick. Well, I mean, that's useful. Like, it lets me know.
Wait, I'm curious then. What about in the sky where, where I first came from? This one doesn't have a tick, so let's see what, what we missed here. I felt this one was a bit short, so why? Don't really see anything else here, though. This is this is all I'm seeing here. Like this to me seems okay. I don't see anything else here. And yet it's still saying there's something here, like it hasn't been ticked. Let me try... I'm just, just thinking. I thought maybe cooking that meal would bring it forward. <laughs> I don't know, does anyone see anything? I don't see anything. Maybe the tick only applies to caves and not wells. Oh, this is how you get out of these holes. Okay. Well, what else didn't get a tick? There's a spot here, apparently. This is different this time. I wouldn't be surprised if the cave entrance is like here. I'm kind of surprised there's nothing already. 
I thought for sure. Like a Korok at least. Oh, the building's not here either. Oh no, there it is. It's gonna say. Hey, it's the old... It's been a while, hasn't it? Tebba told me all about what you did. How with your help, that wretched blizzard had finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked after young children every step of the way. You have my thanks and admiration for whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. As you've no doubt surmised, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Tebba's leadership. I now spend my days here at the flight range helping mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I regret to say that the blizzard ruined our old training equipment. But rather than try and recreate the original course, I've taken the opportunity to prepare a new one. In this course, individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach young warriors to fly more confidently even in unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted the course as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave volunteer comes along soon to try it out. Cool. So you're stepping up. Want to try the new training course? What a surprise and an honor. The rules are simple. You pass through as many of the floating rings as you can before the time runs out. Oh, and don't stray too far. Hmm? You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since this is your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Manage that and we'll give you a fitting reward. So, care to give it a try? Let's do this. Marvelous. I'll show you the starting position. Let's see if mini games in this are better. Ready? I got 20. You cleared all the rings? Well done. Well done, Link. You passed with flying colors too. Do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? You've set a high water mark for my trainees to aspire to. Clearly I picked the right Hylian to give this course a spin. Please take this. You cleared all your rings on your very first try? Astonishing. Link, you have proven yourself you're ready for more of a challenge. I suggest you try the advanced course. You're welcome to train here as often as you like, in exchange for a nominal participation fee. What's the advanced course? It's with Chulin. Or not. Oh no, this one does not mess around. Thirty. Eh, I think that's fair. There's probably thirty-five in total. It's not bad because it's earning me money. I need money, so let's just do it again.
Oh crap. Oh, this fucked me. I did way less this time. Is, am I gonna get a reward? Okay, it pays. It pays my pays my entry, so that's fine. And then it's a little more this way. <whistles> 30 again! <laughs> Nearly got the 31. Nah, I'm good. I mean, it looks like these minigames are still the same <laughs> as in Breath of the Wild, where, yeah, I mean, they can make you money, but uh, outside of that, it's... Unless it gives you a reward for completing it, you know what? I have to try. Because what if their final reward isn't money? I feel like I'm close. Oh, 31. This time you cleared 31. That's the new record. There's 32? Hang on. Where did I miss some? Oh, I see. That one goes down even lower. But that was still going to be 31. One more try. I mean, I need the money, so... That's fine. It has to be 32. 31 just seems like a weird number. Ah, shit, this is not a good one. Ok, 
Okay, that's sort of improved that a little. Because last time he said I cleared all the rings, so... This is what's bothering me, is he's not saying that. Like, what if there's one on my blind spot? Shit, no, this, this is it. Oh, 35. Got it. You cleared all the rings, all done. Okay, I thought so. You can't believe it. You passed through all the rings. What an incredible showing. I'll record what I saw today so that posterity will know of the flying Hylian. Please take this in exchange for your tremendous efforts. Okay, so it's still just money, but you know what? Yeah. Good. I, I needed the money. I'm, I'm content with that. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, I made I made money, so this is good. Okay, so according to this, there's a cave entrance. Where though? Don't have a hammer at the moment. Ow. Surprise, I survived that. Wait, no. Stop. Yes. <laughs> it's better than nothing.
I mean, this is highly encouraging me to go to Kakariko Village. Okay, hold on. I need to make a hammer. Why did I mark this hill? There's a reason I marked this hill. Alright, so I've arrived at the spot. I'm looking. Otherwise, I'll just, uh, I'll just teleport and get the thing again and see if it points it here. Hmm. Weird. I don't see a cave entrance. Alright, leave it for now. I'm going back to that other one because I said it wasn't finished for some reason. The other reason money's important is just the fairy fountains I imagine I'm gonna have to pay, so. I can start upgrading gear as well. See if this is worth it. Ooh. Okay, it's a chest. Eh. Alright, next one. worth it. Alright, uh, this cave, it's said not complete. Why? This is what I want to know.
Is it seriously because of this? No, okay. So something else. But that's it. I don't see anything else. I don't see anything else. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Ah. There we go. Okay, now it's got a tick. And see, there's all these three here as well. They don't have one either. Oh, this game is going to be so long. <laughs> I can... I can already see it. It still bothers me about the well. The well doesn't have a tick, and I'm not sure why. That didn't seem to have any hidden rooms, and I was looking pretty well. Get it? Pretty well. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Don't think wells get, get ticks. I mean... There are other wells. You know what? There's one in central Hyrule. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Has to be fire, really? I mean, granted, this cave I did not explore properly. a good amount of walls and none have ticks. Okay. <laughs> Do 
Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, this dick. I climb up, huh? What the? There we go. So this does branch off. I was trying to be very careful with my use of these because I don't have that many, so I don't have a choice here. Now it's got a tick. I think it's just these bubbling things. Okay, next. Where's the next one? Oh. Guess it's just that one over there, huh? There's still so much of this area to go. I haven't even gone to the northeast region yet. And I kind of just lightly touched on the north. <laughs> And it's not like I'm just running around, either. Like, you compare this to Breath of the Wild where I was Korok hunting, I was running around not really having much purpose. This is actual exploration. They've definitely fleshed this out a lot more. Okay, where's this cave entrance? There. that would
That looks like, yep. I'm gonna look up there. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the cave I was supposed to go in. This one's done. Maybe I'm mistaken. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, that's all good now. Okay, from here. Because the shrine's on the outside of this. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to take a small intermission. I've kind of been playing for four hours and didn't realize it until now. So, I need to take a break, get a beverage, stretch my legs, and uh, we'll continue. But, yeah, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye, YouTube, but thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time.